This video clip is about paying invoices received from suppliers. What we're about to do is uh, process a bit of paper that's come to us from JW Design. That's an invoice for a particular purchase order that we have placed on them. We select JW Design. We select the specific purchase order that we're referring to. It tells us that there has been nothing paid against it to this point in time. You key in the supplier's invoice number and select the appropriate invoice date. We're assuming that they've invoiced the correct amount and we click OK and process it. Otherwise we would adjust the line outstanding amount and the amount total in order to post to MIOB or QuickBooks. In this case we're accepting that amount there. Simply click OK and then push it to MIOB. or QuickBooks, it doesn't matter, it'll process to either. If there's been an error on that for whatever reason and you need to reverse that, you would come into your invoices here, click on the triangle on the left and delete that amount. Just press the delete on the keyboard. Refresh the screen and now that's set back to zero. Nothing has been uh, processed. You should also check in MyOB to make sure that it hasn't gone through to MyOB or QuickBooks. Delete the entry. Come back into DBS. And once again, go through that process. One, two, three, four. Select the date of sale. Click OK to that, which processes that. That puts it into the invoices screen in here, and then push to MyOB or QuickBooks. And that's it. That's done. So where people, most people will trip over is if they need to redo something, it's coming into the invoices. And this has to be done for each line. So if you've got multiple lines of fabric here, you would have to come in here and delete that. Click on the triangle on the left and press the delete key on the keyboard to remove each one for each line in order to process it again. Uh, so that's how we process invoices from suppliers. Thanks very much for your time. If you need any more information, please go to our website, www.drapeandblindsoftware.com.